Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's Promo, and today we're gonna cover a topic that I get asked quite often, and that is how do you set up custom notification sounds? Now, I never really get asked about the ringtones because that one is actually very simple. When you go inside of your settings, you go to sounds and vibrations. When you click on ringtone, you're gonna have all these options here along with this plus button. And this is where you can find any song that you have downloaded, any ringtone you have downloaded. Uh, you can even play selected areas. And then, you know, that's actually very simple and easy. But when you go inside of notification sound, this is all you have to choose from with this short list. There's no plus button. You can't easily change a notification sound. Now, why there's no plus icon, I have no idea why. Maybe it's because Samsung doesn't want people to have a three minute song be a notification sound, but you know what? Shouldn't that be our choice? So in this video today, I'm gonna to show you how you're able to change it. Now you might be asking yourself, well, why don't I just use Zedge or any other uh, ringtone application? Now, the reason why I suggest not to do this is because let's say that you were using Zedge, uh, you're on Android 9, and you set up a notification sound for uh, text messaging. And then maybe you did another notification sound for another application, maybe Instagram or something. Then your Samsung phone went from Android 9 to Android 10. Zedge is not written for Android 10 yet. Now you have a bunch of issues. You might have battery drain. You might have problems with text messaging. You might have problems with Instagram. Whichever applications you set up to where you have Zedge and you're like, hey, I wanna change it through this app, that's where you have problems. Now, if you wanna still use Zedge, download the file directly. Now, once the file is downloaded on your Samsung phone, just head inside of your My Files, and then underneath My Files, you're gonna head inside of Audio or wherever it is downloaded. So I placed all of my files right in here inside of Audio and inside of Music. So what I'm gonna do here, I got the song from Roddy Rich, The Box. I have D's Nuts, <laughs> the NFL uh, score chime and Boom Boom Chick. It's a pretty cool ringtone. So uh, I'm going to go through all of these here and you have the option of either copying or moving them. Now, if you copy them, it's going to stay in two spots, this spot and where I'm about to show you. So you might as well just move it. You don't need to have all that, that, uh, you know, multiple different files. Now inside of here, what you want to do is go back to my files and head inside of internal storage. Now, inside of internal storage, you're going to scroll down to where you see where it says notifications. Now, if you do not have this folder, all you have to do is create it. So on the top right hand side, go to uh, create folder and make sure that you write it down uh, just like this notifications, capital N with a S. Now, once you have notifications folder created, you go to move here. Now, if you remember back when we were looking at all the notifications, so Boom Boom Chick should be towards the top, uh, D's Nuts will be towards the top, and then you have the NFL score chime and then the Roddy Rich, the box. So obviously none of those were there from before. So now let's go inside of the settings. Let's go to sound and vibrations, notification sound. Let's go towards the top. Uh, here we go. We have the Boom Boom Chick, uh, which just sounds like this. Uh, we also have the box, which I'm not gonna play that for, uh, uh, reasons I don't want to get flagged. Uh, we also have D's nuts, nuts. <laughs> and, and a whole bunch more. And then here's that NFL score chime. So that is where and how you're able to set up custom notification sounds. So really anytime that you want to have, you know, let's say maybe a full song for some reason, uh, you also have all these other ones you can get. So I did use Zedge to download a couple of these here, especially the NFL score chime with the, you know, the Super Bowl popping up and the Chiefs are in the game. Go Chiefs! Other than that, I probably just lost a few subscribers. That's okay. Um, but this is how you're able to put in custom notification sounds. I got my NFL chime back when I moved back. There we go. It's sitting right there. And that is how you set up custom notification sounds. So yes, again, you are able to set up uh, your ringtones and things like that through Zedge or any other application, but I just wouldn't do it through the app itself directly into another application. Download the file directly follow these steps put it into a folder called notifications that is built inside of your internal storage and you are good to go but i hope you guys have liked this video if you guys did please give this thing a huge thumbs up don't forget to hit on subscribe subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side and if you like this video then more than likely you'll also like this video and i'll see you guys later